Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am so glad you are tuning in live, catching the replay, or listening on the podcast, because today's guest is one that you don't want to miss. Before I introduce my guest, I want to make sure that if it's your first time tuning in, I want to say a great big welcome to you. I'm so glad you found us here on Planet Internet. And if you're a returning viewer or listener, I want you to know how much I appreciate you as well. For those of you I don't know yet, my name is Yang Pratt. I'm a 17-year performing arts studio owner turned chief dreamer and podcaster at Our Young Creators. Here at OYC, we love helping people to harness the power of technology, to learn skills so they can become creators on the devices they love and not just consumers. And today I have a very special guest for you. Our guest today is Elena Ledoux. She is an attorney, she's a mom of two, and an entrepreneur. She was born in the Soviet Union and then emigrated to the US to begin her professional career. One of her businesses is a top-rated maid service in Las Vegas, and it's in the top 5% of maid services nationwide. Her newest project is called Mommy Go, which is a natural energy G-shot for moms, so women can have it all. Elena, I am so glad we are chatting today. Welcome to the show. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thanks for having, having me. me. I'm delighted. I'm delighted. So Elena and I had the opportunity to meet face to face very recently in Atlanta. And I was completely blown away by what she is doing. And this latest project of hers, I would love Elena, if you could take us back to the beginning. Why did you create Mommy Go and where did the idea come from? Well, it came from uh, my own need uh, to have it all. When I was practicing law in Hawaii uh, years ago, I loved my profession and I found it very challenging and very exciting. So I invested a lot of my effort into it. So by the time I got home and you know, was ready to unwind, that's when my kids wanted to engage and play and have quality time with me, which is their right. And this is something I wanted to have with them as well. Um, unfortunately, after spending all my day litigating cases, I wasn't in a good state of mind or I wasn't good physically and emotionally to be able to do that and to be fully present with them. So I kind of, uh, but I always felt guilty about it. And kind of we're, we, we as women are so good about feeling guilty about everything. So uh, yes, I did feel really, really bad about it. And eventually, I ended up leaving law, and which was my beloved uh, career and calling. Uh, and I spent time with my kids for a couple of years, actually two, two to three years. We basically just traveled in Europe, had a fantastic time. It was amazing. And then I was actually, uh, I came back to U.S. and uh, started my maid service by happenstance and uh, I didn't expect it to get big I thought it's gonna be a really tiny and small thing uh, that I did to help out a friend and uh, I, you know fortunately and unfortunately it grew like crazy and I found that it became very challenging as well it was taxing on my personal resources basically and uh, now I had two kids and both kids really wanted to still have their mommy mommy time so um, I wasn't ready to give up business. So I went out and I uh, searched for some type of uh, energy boost to help me kind of have a second life, so to speak, at home and not just uh, dedicate everything to my career. And I, uh, I went and looked and I explored different things. I did dive into fitness a bit and uh, as well as meditation. And then I looked at uh, different things I can eat or drink 
And I'm all about the easy solutions, something that doesn't require a lot of effort or a lot of suffering. I just don't like <laughs> suffering. So I looked for uh, basically energy, quick energy boost. And what I found was basically something that was unhealthy or questionable or outright dangerous. Uh, so it was not very satisfying. And uh, finally, I decided to, you know, I'm an entrepreneur now, I guess. So I'll just make it, make my own. And uh, I did some research. I collaborated with some amazing um, people. And one of them was the founder of TLED, Elise Peterson. She is a tea guru. She is a food scientist and all these uh, amazing things. And so she kind of guided me, helped me to develop this all-natural energy boost. Um, I have a bottle right here. I had one this morning. Uh, it's called Mami Go, and it's made out of uh, Japanese matcha, which is green tea leaves that are grounded up into a powder and uh, has amazing uh, health benefits matcha by itself uh, but of course normally for matcha you have to have this whole setup and mix them mix it up first of all procure a good matcha because there's different varieties and then mix it up in a special bowl with a special little whisk and some people do it gracefully and do it well i do it so there's a green powder everywhere and it gets really crazy um so for me it works really well to have it kind of portable so i just shake it open it and drink it and then off i go so that's so once once I do drink it, I am good to go. Uh, even after having a full day at work, or you know, even with my family, I can still do things in the afternoon, which is normally when my energy level mm -hmm. dive, or actually I should say fall off the cliff. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what we do. And we just currently uh, we just got listed on Amazon and it's doing really well there. We have a really big support supportive community. And I actually just got my first order and I'm going to actually do a Facebook Live later today and unpackage it so everyone can kind of see what it looks like when it arrives. And I can share with you my experiences. Elena was gracious enough to, to give me a shot of Mommy Go when we were in Atlanta because we were operating on very little sleep, as you yes. can imagine. <laughs> and yeah, it was able, the, the energy I had was able to sustain me throughout the day that we were staying up way past our bedtimes and getting up super early. So I definitely know it works. And the fact that it's portable is fantastic because I think you pointed out, you can take this through airport security. Is that right? Say, yes, three ounces. It's perfect. Because I travel a lot and coping with different time schedules and different foods, it's always a challenge for me. And it creates uh, a lot of, a big burden on the body to be constantly like not having enough sleep or eating bad food. So one thing that Mommy Go actually does is it curbs appetite as well. Uh, and because I'm normally the type of person who has to eat. When I have to eat, I have to eat. Otherwise, they go crazy. So it's, uh, and I don't like suffering again, remember? So for me, <laughs> it works really well to drink it and feel the energy levels to go up. It's like battery levels. Just They just go up. And then it completely calms my body down and it doesn't tell me, oh my God, you know what sounds great right now? It's McDonald's for the fish or uh, you should go eat that piece of chocolate or you should go eat that ice cream. It's so amazing. Like I have this really strong voice that's making me eat things <laughs> and drink things. So Mommy Go works really well in kind of calming it down and saying, no, okay, you have good energy. Please don't eat that junk. You know, let's survive until we can eat something healthy. And we're going to be fine. So I've been really grateful for that side effect of my product. And that's amazing. And Cindy Lou wants to know if you are shipping to New Zealand yet. Not yet. Uh, but we do have a lot of inquiries from overseas. I think Canada is currently leading in uh, number of inquiries. <laughs> and, uh, and people are saying like, why not Canada? It is very close. Uh, shipping cost is one of our biggest costs, actually. So we're working to see mm -hmm. how we can make it happen. Uh, we also have a lot of inquiries from uh, UK, uh, for, also from Spain. Uh, let's see, even from Africa. There, there are people, there are mommies and non-mommies everywhere that could appreciate a really healthy energy boost without a huge amount of caffeine or sugar, you know, or calories that come with those. So... But it's, it's, we're working on that. So we're trying to figure out U.S. first and get firmly established, and then we'll take on the world next. 
Yeah, and it's going to be amazing because it's going to be this global phenomenon of mommies who are looking for ways to take care of themselves. But like you said, they're not having to have all the extra caffeine and all these things that are a jolt to our system, but we can put something in our bodies that's good for us. So when we show up for our kids or maybe a second business or a side hustle, we have the energy that's going to help be sustainable. And there's not going to be that crash afterwards because so much of what's on the market, I completely stay away from because it, it freaks me out quite honestly about the stuff that is in these products. Yes. And, you know, uh, our retreat in Atlanta is a perfect example as to how it's meant to work and in terms of our lives. So we were there to grow our businesses and to collaborate and learn. So there's a lot of very, very like high value information that's densely packed during the day. Mm -hmm. In the evening, however, we wanted to stay late and socialize and get to know each other. We had so much fun. People were going crazy. There, I remember cartwheels in the, you know, in the uh, outside of the house, you know, in the grass. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. But uh, what, how can you make sure you have energy for both? And then if you do cartwheels, in, you know, at, at 12 a.m. <laughs> at night, how do you have enough energy to focus on what you need to focus the next morning and not die? So that is exactly like what, and, you know, most reasonable or rational people will say, well, uh, all you have to do is just give up one of them, right? Either like have a sleep during mm -hmm. the classes time and learning time, and then you have fun in the evening. Or be a reasonable adult and go to bed at, you know, godly hours. And some of us were, like very few of us were. <laughs> so, but they went to bed at, at a good time so they could perform the next day. So, and we had presentations, we had speeches, we had amazing experiences. There's a very, very intense learning. So what if you are like me and wants to have, have it both ways? I want to have personal life. Mm -hmm. I want to have fun with my friends. I want to bond with amazing women and men that who are there. But on the other hand, I also want to learn and I want to grow and I want to work on my business. So I want to have both of it. You know, I don't want to give up either. And I think that's a really important distinction about having it all because society tells moms, a lot of us, that we have to choose, like you said. And with this product of Mommy Go, we're not having to choose. We can have it all and we can enjoy our lives and we can live our lives fully by being as healthy as possible, by fueling our body with good ingredients and not giving ourselves the leftovers or grabbing that junky food or the chocolate that we know is not good for us, but we're in a hurry and we're just grabbing it going to the next thing. Like Christy said, when she's in the mom taxi going from place to place, it's exactly. super easy, super convenient to pull into any fast food restaurant and grab something. But if you had this product in your purse or maybe you just carried some in your car, that would be a huge time savings for one and also just a boost in your own health and showing our kids that taking care of ourselves is also really important for moms. Yes, because I have extremely judgmental kids. So <laughs> they don't, <laughs> if I drink Coca Cola, if I drink Red Bull, it's not going to go down well. Mm -hmm. So I'll get a lot of judgment. So I have to kind of keep it straight. Even if I go to McDonald's, they really judge me for that and then they give me a hard time. <laughs> so I have to keep it really perfect and be a good example and uh, eat healthy. So this is uh, a tea leaves. So there's mm -hmm. nothing I can say. It's tea leaves and honey, and it's only 20 calories. It's extremely healthy for me. It's really good for my body and for my mind. And it gives them personal time with me that they crave all the time. So it's they love it and they actually use it against me now. So if they do want my attention and even if I'm tired, some days I want to be tired. I don't want to do anything. I want to just lay on the couch. But they will actually bring one to me and be like, okay, you know, it's my time now. Drink that and let's go. So yeah, I have to. <laughs> became a victim of my own success. Well, and, and I just love that too, because Kim White, our mutual friend who is on right now, she always says about kids, more is caught than taught. And so your boys have seen you do this. They've seen the results, not only in you, but the results for them as far as time together and the quality of your time together. So now they're wanting to say, mom, you need this because yeah. they know how great it is for you. I wanna make sure that for all the mommies out there, 
I want you just to imagine what your day would look like if you could come home from a full day of productive work that you're passionate about and then be able to go on and have more energy for your significant other or with your kids or to be amongst friends if you're traveling. Can you imagine what that would feel and look like in your life versus how it might look today? I definitely want to encourage you all to connect with Elena. Go to Amazon, grab her new sample pack she has to try out all these yummy flavors because that's the other thing. A lot of the stuff that's on the market tastes terrible. And when you shared Mommy Go With Me, the first thing I thought was, okay, I'm not sure. And then I tried it and it was really delicious. And so that was, it was like a nice little treat. And so definitely I want everyone to connect with you and find out more because you're running the Successful Maid Service, which is in the top 5% nationwide, not yes. just in the state of Nevada. Plus now you have this new product, which is really building a huge fan base here in the US and you're already looking at these next things. So if Mommy Go is sustaining you at this level, I can I just can't wait for other mommies who are doing different things and who who want to do more in their lives but don't have the energy. I want them to be able to come to you and say, Elena, let me share my story with you. I get that already. And uh, this is my favorite aspect of this whole enterprise is just to hear back from all our clients how grateful they are. And some of the things they can do is they just like, blow my mind. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. the, the people who manage big companies, people who are starting their own businesses, people who have times with their families, or I have just this morning, we got some photos from uh, Zion National Park. <laughs> so some mommy and actually granny, uh, she went to, she travels the world and she brings mommy go with her. She brings like huge packs of it mm -hmm. and she just drinks it and she doesn't leave the house or the hotel without a bottle of mommy go. And that's what I find myself too doing. Once I forget it, that's when I go to McDonald's. That's when mm -hmm. I go. And there are huge lights in front of McDonald's and that's why we have all these like health issues. So yeah. I, you know, I, I really love uh, the good that Mommy Go does to the world. And one of the very important aspects of our enterprise and our product is that we support with parts of our profit, a Healthy Sunrise Foundation, which is uh, the very amazing nonprofit that saves pregnant women and um, newborn babies. So it was started by my friends, uh, pediatrician uh, and pediatric nurse practitioner they uh, used to handle babies in very severe conditions with a lot of diseases or a lot of babies were dying so they're it's very heartbreaking of course mm -hmm. for them so they decided to catch that upstream and think how do we prevent those babies from being born with these severe disabilities with the severe chronic diseases so they started treating educating pregnant women and providing basic maternal care. So then by the time they get the babies, oh, they're healthy. So that's like, that's a perfect solution. It's a huge success story. And I really love the fact that we are able to support them in this way and make it sustainable. So I want to let what you just said sink in for a moment because here's what it is in a nutshell. Not only can mommies have more energy to go do it all and have better relationships with their kids and their, their significant others after work, they can take better care of themselves, do something for themselves, which we often put ourselves last, so now they can do that. And number three, when you get Mommy Go, you're able to help save other mommies and babies. It, there, it's a win, win, win all the way around. So I just wanna commend you for creating this amazing product for one, but also stepping up and seeing people who need help that you can help and you can use this product to do so. Thank you. I think we're, you know, you including and a lot of our friends and fellow women entrepreneurs, we all try to kind of heal the world and make it better or fix things that are broken. I mean, it's a normal mom thing and even mm -hmm. non-mom things, just a woman thing. That's what we're good at. That's what, that's our natural inclination. And that's what we do. 
And I think the when they try, we try to collaborate and help each other and uplift each other. That's when the magic happens. Yeah. And I, I want to, even when I shop nowadays for anything, service, a product, I really think about who am I supporting? Is it a global corporation that really doesn't care about me or what's going to happen to my health, you know, 20 years down the line? Uh, all they care about is making a few pennies off of me. Uh, or am I supporting a fellow mom who's trying to change the world and make it better and make a big difference, including yourself? And that's how it, the whole enterprise really changed my worldview on that. And uh, because I can see in the background, because we use for our, for Mommy Go, for production, we use major facilities that you, that do like for formulation, for bottling, for packaging, that all the big brands, like big boys use. And I can see what kind of stuff that happens in the background normally. And that's, that's been really eye-opening. Uh, and so to be able to be a mom and say, no, this is wrong. I'm not going to do this. We're going to do it the right way. We're going to do it the wholesome way. We're going to mm-hmm. do it the good way. I think uh, just gives me a whole different perspective. And I know every single entrepreneur that's within our circle, our mutual circle, I think in a very, very same way. They're not going to do things to harm the world. They're doing things to benefit the world. So that's what I love about that. That's what I love about you as well, as well as Kim. Hi, Kim. (laughs) Well, thank you for that. Uh, Yeah, I just love it. And so for all the mamas and the non-mamas, maybe there's some daddies watching or some grandmas or aunts and uncles, can they drink Mommy Go too? Exactly, yes. There's no hormones. There's no nothing specific for mommies. Uh, For uh, And a lot of men ask me, uh, you know, what about daddy go? And you can definitely drink it. A lot of daddies do. Uh, if they have a chance to grab it and wrestle it away from their wives, they do drink <laughs> it. And it does work amazing, amazingly on them. Because men also need healthy energy. So it does work. Uh, we actually think about creating like a separate uh, product to make them feel better. Not put mommy go so prominently here. But it will be the same exact mm-hmm. thing. I mean, because men love the flavor and it does work on them. It's just they're, they don't necessarily want to identify as mommies. So, right. <laughs> so <for them. laughs> but yeah, a lot, some men don't care. Some, you know, some men are like, whatever, I can drink anything. I'm still a man. So, uh, but, you know, we do want to make it a little bit easier on, on some mm-hmm. of the non mommies as well. Right. And what about kids? Can kids drink this as well? Yes, so uh, there there is some caffeine in this. It's about half of uh, what you have in a cup of coffee. Uh, but do kids do drink it. In fact, the L-theanine, which is the amino acid that's naturally contained in matcha green tea, is is a supp- It's made into a supplement normally, and it's prescribed to children with anxiety, from what I heard from our clients. And so, and and it because matcha has this calming effect. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying suggesting that if your kids has anxiety, just you know stick them with mommy go or matcha tea. But I'm just saying it's a wholesome and healthy product. And kids do. I mean, my kids do steal it and drink it, but I try to <laughs> not to let them have it because I want it for myself. <laughs> but but yes, yeah, so I had the, I had the funny cases where I would be, you know, I would be ready to go for a meeting, for with a vendor or with someone, and I have I've been saving like a box of mommy go in the fridge. <laughs> the dice tastes better cold and then I open the box and there's like three bottles in the bottom and I would say what happened and, and nobody knows anything you know but of somebody of course <laughs> yeah it's one of my two kids or my husband I don't <laughs> think it was the cat you know so some one of them drank it they wouldn't admit who it was but I know that they all tried it and they all love it that is amazing so I want to make sure people know where they can go grab mommy go if they're in the U.S. for now Yes, so uh, you can go to our website, which is mommygo.co. So it's m o m m y g o dot c o. Or you can go to Amazon, put in a mommy go, or you can put natural energy shots, or you can put matcha shots. We actually just got the Amazon Choice um, label, which is a big deal, especially since we fulfill it ourselves and not through Amazon. So it was it was through the support of the community and all of our clients which, for which we're including yourself. And we're really, really grateful for that. So we're definitely out there on Amazon, all over Amazon now. So you can, you can please give us a try. 
So good. And once we wrap up this interview, if you wouldn't mind coming back in under this video and posting the links so anyone coming back to watch the replay, they have access to get this amazing product in their hands. Give it a try because I know for a fact that once you have it, you're going to be one of those people who are going to be sending Elena a little love letter telling her how it's changed your life. So Elena, I want to know what's next for Mommy Go? Oh, great question. Uh, so next is we have a, a production. We're actually beginning to run low on inventory, especially our rose almond flavor is the most popular flavor. So we're kind of scrambling to set up production later this month. It's supposed to be next week, but I think it's going to be in a couple of weeks. And then another bigger production in December. And then uh, once that is set up, we're going to hit Amazon hard and we go Amazon Prime, which is when like the floodgates are open. And, you know, we, we have to ship a massive amount of product to mm -hmm. Amazon and let them handle. Now that we figured out the logistics of it, we're going to just, I feel safer giving it to Amazon and have like opened the gates mm -hmm. for general public. Because so far we've done really well, but almost 90% of our clients were people who we brought in, like our mm -hmm. circle, our supporters and people who heard about, because I'm, I'm on Facebook all the time. I'm all over social media. People say, what the hell is this? And like, it's everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, it's everywhere and people are liking it, but we're the ones who brought, brought all these clients mm -hmm. over. So um, it's going to be open to a big like general public uh, later this quarter. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're going to go to brick and mortar stores. Fantastic. And this weekend, you and I are going to collaborate on a little project. Do you want to tell everyone what that is? Yes, I'm so excited. So during the retreat, we got to talk about each other's businesses and then hear each other's presentations. And I was just blown away by your presentation and your mission in the world. Uh, aside from the fact that you're an amazing public speaker, one of the best I've ever heard in my life, which I did not at all expect, um, not because of you, but because, you know, I didn't prepare at all for my speech, <laughs> but uh, you were just so polished, so graceful, so engaging and passionate about it. But the fact that what you're trying to do, which is take, a, I don't want to say disability, but it's a negative thing where, which all of us, all of our children are afflicted by, which is mm -hmm. they're glued to their devices, and it, it's like an off button on your kid, right? If you don't want him or her, push that button, you know, give them the iPad, they're gone. And so, and of course, then mommy guilt kicks in and all that other mm -hmm. jazz. But I feel like it's really detrimental to, in terms of emotional development, personality, engagement, everything is really, really bad for families and for kids. And the fact that you could take that and instead of saying, nope, you're not allowed to use a device, you're saying like, no, let's use your device. But let's create something. Let's make a beautiful product. Let's make a podcast. Let's make a YouTube video. And you know what? My kids, uh, especially the youngest one, he already tries to do something on his own. He recorded a whole bunch of videos, apparently, like in a dark room. And he posted them on my YouTube channel because that's who, that, that it was logged in. So it was very hilarious. And he just doesn't know how to do it, right? Because I don't know how to do it either. I'm not familiar with that stuff. And then my... Oldest kid, he likes editing videos. So he's been out, and he also, he's an artist. He likes drawing. So he was doing like these, you know, like videos that show how to draw and edit them mm -hmm. and posting them. But again, he doesn't know, like he doesn't have the knowledge as to how to do it either. And I don't have a knowledge how to teach them. So the fact that you can come in and teach me how to collaborate with my own kids uh, and then get them to be creative get them to use their brains, their creativity, their desire actually to produce apparently. Mm -hmm. And then I get to have free labor out of that after that, <laughs> free video editing, free podcast support. I think that is just amazing. I love that. I love your mission. So I can't wait to learn how to do this. And also just um, what I loved about, and it actually, it wasn't like you were selling me on that. It's all the people who already took your course and like, you have to do that. Girl. You have to do it because, and I was like, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do the podcast. You know, I guess it's too much work. And they said, no, 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 no. The way she teaches you to do is you do very little work for very big impact because you're so hyper organized and efficient. And I'm like, oh my God, I love that idea. I love, I'm all about doing as little as possible and having as big of an impact as you can have, 
right? But we re reusing the same work that you did into multiple yeah. channels, right? Is that's that's the sense I got, and that's why I was like, yeah, I really sign me up, sign me up. When are we gonna start? So I was really really excited to sign up. And we're gonna do it this weekend, um, and then I'm going to be doing oh like the Facebook lives that I'm doing nowadays. <laughs> they get a lot of views, but it's such a I'm not allowed to say shit show. It's a shit show. So because I don't <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I just sort of stumble into it and start doing it, which is how normally you learn. Unfortunately, Facebook Live, you're learning live. So everybody mm -hmm. watches you how you fall and hit your face with you hit, hit the ground with your face. So when I was told that part of that whole course that you have, which is podcasting in a weekend, which is only gonna take me a few hours to learn. You're going to teach me how to do Facebook lives in a graceful way. So I don't look like a slow moving <laughs> train wreck. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I love that too. So I, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm super excited. I'm beyond excited. Well, so much of what you just dove into is so good. The first thing that you have right now is your own production team. Once you learn how to do these things with me, I mean, your kids can do it with you and you can put them to work. And once they can do it for you in a really efficient manner, can you imagine if you have other friends out there who need their help? They can exactly. now create their own jobs, their own businesses as yes. kids. Exactly. Like your kids. Yeah. That's what my kids exactly. do. And I think that's the, the best gift that we as parents can give to our kids. And for those of us who are listening right now or watching, some of us don't have kids at home right now. So that's okay. You can rent a kid. You can borrow the neighbor's kid. You can borrow a kid from your social circles. We all know a kid in our circles that could use someone to help them navigate life in a more positive manner. And if we can bring them along for the ride and show them the possibilities, I mean, these kids are the future. So I'm excited that you're on board to have your kids do this with you because that's where the magic I think happens. We can learn to take a process that in the past has been very manual. We can automate it. So just like you don't want to eat yucky stuff and feed yourself bad food and you want something fast, this is the same thing. We're going to do something that used to take a long time. We're going to automate it. We're going to put it on autopilot so it works in the background. So we can all do the things that we love to do, which is collaborate with other people and create more amazing things in this world. Yes, I love that. And I think the fact that the kids get to benefit from it and instead of uh, what I feel about the, the devices and like being in, enthralled with just the content online for the kids is it's almost like you're putting them on pause and they're not growing and they're not developing. Right. And that's super, super heartbreaking and sad for me because I think the child's mind is such a beautiful, gorgeous thing. And so to, to have it kind of capped and not growing and just being static is like a biggest waste. And that's part of the whole, like, our duty as parents and as adults is to make sure that that doesn't happen. And of course, we're distracted, we're doing other things. But if you just give them the tools and teach them and give them a way to use their brain and to grow, I think that's beautiful. You don't have to, like, do it every day with them, but you can just teach them right. and then they'll do it. And then you can, like, watch the videos and just like be like, yeah, this is amazing. So well, and now with your product too, if we put them together, it's really this huge quantum exactly. leap because now mommies are going to have the energy to want to do this with their kids. So now you can work together collaboratively as a family. You can really start building amazing memories and building opportunities for our kids to see what they might want to do in the future. Exactly. And our kids, are, a lot of times we don't have them enough credit, but our kids are extremely capable beings. Right. Uh, and for example, my oldest, he just turned 18 and he occasionally does graphic designs for me. And it's on par with mm -hmm. some of the professional graphic designers that I'm hiring. He, he's an artist, right? So he has that like sense as to what is beautiful and well balanced. So he does that. And you know, I told him like all the time, you should just make money and, and doing this, just offer it. Because no one knows you're only 18 online. Online, yeah. you could be a dog or a cat. It's still making money. <laughs> Nobody knows. So um, I think it's the same thing. Just give it, give it to the kids and give them enough credit. 
and empower them mm -hmm. and then they could change the world. Because I feel like kids, they're so pure. I mean, I love children. They're the best humans. Mm -hmm. And so they, if we can have more children in the world, a bigger presence of children in the world, instead of hearing hatred, uh, bullying, um, pain, and all this like awful, mm -hmm. awful, horrible stuff, we can imagine if we can hear more like of like, oh my God, I love the world. What is this? I love my mommy. I love my daddy. You know, it's like, I, it, it's amazing. You know, look at this. I think, wouldn't the world be a much better place for all of us to exist in? I think it would be. <laughs> so. Yes, and I, I think our kids are waiting for permission from us to know that what they have to say and the gifts they have are valuable and that other people need them too. Exactly. And I think one of the other very important aspects is there are some people who are great at what they do, which is, for example, great at podcasting, right? The technical mm -hmm. knowledge, they really got it dialed in. Or they're excellent public speaker like you are. But they're also like a very special breed of people who are great at instruction and teachers. You know, I'm married to one. So I can, I know and I see one, right? And you are one of those rare people who's both, who is not only good at what she does, but is actually excellent at teaching and communicating and at like engaging. You have to be excellent communicator. You have to be engaging, right? Entertaining. Uh, and you have to know your stuff. So you have all these qualities. So I am like super delighted and excited about learning from you. I am excited as well. I want to make sure too that people can come and find you and connect with you personally online. Where can they find you? So I'm on Facebook, uh, Elena Ledoux. Um, so it's E-L-E-N-A-L-E-D-O-U-X. And uh, you can actually click through, um, I guess, your your podcast, the, sh the show thing. And then I should be on there. So just click me, send me a friend request. Don't send me creepy messages. Um, <laughs> just send me something nice. <laughs> I love connecting with other people, especially other women especially other women entrepreneurs uh, who are trying to yeah. change the world. So I love that. Amazing. Elena, I just want to say thank you for creating such an amazing product for, for all the mommies and women on the go out there and the daddies too, and for taking the time to be here with us today to share the story of why you created Mommy Go and how you're now partnering with something that is near and dear to your heart to help save more mommies and babies. I just want to say a great big thank you to you. Thank you. And, you know, I think together we can we can really make it big and change the world. Absolutely. And for those of you tuning in and watching, all of us together, can you imagine if we all come together and we all put our resources together and our passions together, the things we can do together are going to be so much greater than what we can do individually. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I'm Yang Pratt, the Chief Dreamer here at OYC, and I've just had an amazing conversation with Elena Ledoux, the founder of Mommy Go. I will catch you all next time. Cheers, my friends.